Okay, today we're just going to review um, key examples, key topics from this chapter. So the first um, example on your foldable says, write the equation line that passes through these two points in point slope form. And if you remember, this is point slope form. And remember, what you need is a point, you need a slope. So I notice I have two different points, but notice that I do not have the slope. So first thing I'm going to do is find the slope. So I'm going to take the 2y, subtract them, 4 minus 8, subtract the 2x's, 3 minus negative 3, which is really a plus plus. So this is negative 4 over 6, and this becomes negative 2 thirds. Once you have the slope, you pick one of the points to use. It doesn't matter. If you use 3, 4, your equation can be y minus 4 equals negative 2 thirds, parentheses, x minus 3. If you use negative 3, 8, you can do y minus 8 equals negative 2 thirds, x plus 3. Either answer is fine. The next, next form that we did is slope-intercept. So again, we need a y-intercept and we need a slope. So I look at the two points. I notice I don't have slope, so I'm going to calculate slope first. So 1 minus 2 over 6 minus 10. I get negative 1 over negative 4. I'm going to change it to a positive. Now, what I want to look is, do I notice if either of these are your y-intercepts? Nope. So I do need to go to point slope form first. I'm going to use this one. y minus 1 equals 1 fourth times x minus 6. I need to get y by itself. So step 1, distribute. 1 fourth x minus, use your calculator, this is going to be 3 halves. I need to get y by itself, plus 1 plus 1. y equals 1 fourth x minus 1 half is slope intercept form. Okay, next. The last one we did was standard form. It says write the equation in line that has this slope and goes through this point. So I'm going to start with point slope first, but I am giving you the slope this time. So I'm going to go ahead and go straight to point slope. I need to go to slope intercept next. Distribute negative 2 thirds x minus 8 thirds. Add 6 plus 6 plus 6. Use your calculator. Negative 2 thirds x. If you do this on your calculator, I believe it becomes, this is a 10 thirds. Okay, last step is standard form. I see fractions. The only fraction I see is a 3, though. So you're going to multiply everything through by 3. And I'm going to finish this problem up over here. So when you use your calculator, you get 3y equals negative 2x plus 10. I need x and y on the same side, plus 2x plus 2x. 2x plus 3y equals 10. And I see no numbers in front of x that are negative, so I'm done. Here's my standard form. Okay, next, parallel lines. I want the equation of a line that's parallel to this one, and here's my new point in slope-intercept. I'm going to use the same slope, so I'm going to use 3. And notice that my point is 0, 3, and this is your y-intercept, so this one I can go straight to here. And you're done. This is slope-intercept form. The next one says, write the equation of a line parallel to y equals 7. Now, y equals 7 is a horizontal line that goes straight across, so you have to know that. So the only other type of line that's parallel to a horizontal line is another horizontal line. So you're going to write the equation y equals, but this time, this is the point I want, so my y is negative 5. Okay, last topic is perpendicular lines. I need to find the perpendicular slope. But if I look at this equation, this is not in slope-intercept form, so you must get y by itself first. So I'm going to divide by 2 first, and you're going to end up with this. Okay, there is a 1 in front of that, x. The slope of this is 1 half, so your perpendicular slope is really negative 2. I'm going to use this point, y minus 1 equals negative 2, x minus 5, and the direction said point slope, so you are done.